Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Music has obviously played a major role in myself and Trina's life, as long as we can remember. But you don't have to be a singer or a musician for it to hold a special place in your heart. So in honor of Black Music Month, I want to ask my sisters about a song, artist, or genre, or time, okay then, um, that has inspired you. Rashawn, I know there has oh. been music that has inspired you, but Miss Quad, yeah, they, they remembering they and knowing <laughs> all oh, of the world. Yes. Before we was born. Right. <laughs> to yes. the future. Right. So she knows songs that's coming that ain't even out. Right, man. Miss Quad, what yes, has been baby. a music what has been music that insp has inspired you? Either a song or a yes. time. I, listen, I wrote down so many. <laughs> I, I, I know, just so, couldn't oh, stop okay, writing. I, I just enjoy music mm -hmm. so much. Music just gets me through the day. You know, it's rare that I will actually be in my car and have no music on. Mm -hmm. It's that's very rare. But uh, I mean I live to it, I cook to it, I dance to it. I do, I just love it. It, it, it just, it's in my spirit. But yes. I, and I, mm -hmm. I wish I could sing, but I, it's fine. I can hold a note. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in your hand. But not for long. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I wrote down some of the songs. So, um, okay, so really, Michael Jackson, uh, the Off the Wall album yes. was just that off the uh, wall. Yes, it was. And I loved it so much. It was a feel good uh, uh, album. Uh, and I, I just, and the, the song Off the Wall, really, I enjoyed because he was just talking about, you know, just don't take yourself so seriously. You know, we know you work and everything. You work, you work hard, you play hard. And I just, I really enjoyed that album. Uh, there's another one. Of, cor of course, everyone knows I love Frankie Beverly and Mays. Mm -hmm. uh, the Golden Time of the Day. Mm. I can remember uh, I was in the fourth grade and my father came to pick me up for major at practice and I uh, and he had bought a new car that day I guess he woke up and just felt like he wanted a new car so he went out and bought one and um, he picked me he dropped me off in one car and then he picked me up uh, in a, a completely different car and it was just I remember it, it being out front and it was beautiful he was like come on I'm picking you up and he had that song playing mm -hmm. the golden time of the day uh, and I, I think it just connected me with the bond between my father and I, and then it also connected me to, to Frankie Beverly and yes. Mays, because he would listen to that all the time. So the golden time, and when the sun goes down, yeah, that's the golden, golden time, time of the day. day. Yes. And, and actually, you really feel, if you ever pay attention, uh, you guys, make sure when the, when the sun is going down, you, you just be in the moment. Be in the moment. It's the golden time of the day, Frankie Beverly <laughs> told you. And I echo those sentiments, okay? I'm, I'm taking up all the time. I gotta hurry up. Marvin Sapp, okay? One other time I was going I, I was uh, getting into medical device sales, and I remember having to travel to um, the South Carolina, and uh, I had went up a couple of tiers in the uh, interviewing process, and I was it was narrowed down to maybe myself and like two nurses, and I'm no I'm no nurse, guys. I'm not. I have a degree in biology and mind and chemistry, but I am not a nurse. <laughs> and uh, I remember listening to the song "Praise in Advance," mm -hmm. "Praise in Advance," and I listened to the song over and over and over again. I'm sorry, just got four minutes off, and I uh, I, I praised and I got the job right and, and I believed in it and I was praising in the car and I believe God blessed me with that position mm. right that's that I ended up taking up all the time no you're good good okay. <laughs> all right treat oh go me who is oh, it no, okay it's, so treat me. Go outside it's okay of me. it's fine going to it's fine it's fine it'll be real quick um I mean, I love all kind of music. Like mm -hmm. I, my 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 musical palette is very it's, it's, it's across the board. Right. But I just remember two songs. <laughs> you know what? When I was sixteen, and then Joe so um, what's on board? Yeah, I cheated on me or whatever. And then I just remember Tony Terry song when I'm with you. <laughs> it was just a heartbreaking song yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah, okay? okay, that song. And then when I was going through a really uh, pivotal time in my life and my career, radio was just not going well. I was crying all the time. We went away to church. And Smokey Norville, I think I got a chance mm. to tell him his record, I understand. I felt like nobody could, I was just like, who's who else is going through something mm -hmm. like me? And when I heard I understand by Smokey Norville, I was like, yeah, okay. And I just broke down in the car and it's, uh, it just, it always meant so much to me to help pull me through certain situations. So, mm -hmm. big ups to right, Smokey. Right. And I mean, I love music. I'm listening to the K Tronada station on, on Pandora now. I, I do all kind of music. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yes. Well, you know, um, Again, I have been influenced by music since I was a child, simply because my father used to play guitar riffs since I was a baby on the floor, and I used to sit in front of him and just listen to guitar riffs all day long, scales, all day long, mm. all day long, until I played an instrument. I played the clarinet and the bass clarinet, and then I, my father used to make me uh, take piano as well. I had to take in college as well. But my first um, real influence of music was classical music. Um, it's a 
a concerto called Oce Sate, which was um, Italian, mm. Italian uh, classical music, although I can sing in four different languages. But that particular one was extremely uh, prevalent throughout my entire life. Mm. Like that's where I started really taking vocal lessons, which which was in high was in high school. So that record and in a lot uh, records written by William Grant Steele. I remember I had to uh, perform in front of Don Upshaw. Not I think, I think her name was Don Upshaw. She was a, a, a soprano, a first soprano, and I was very 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 nervous to perform in front of her. But. I was in a master class and that was a big deal in my life. So I was, um, it, I think it added something to my musical um, approach. So that era and of course, anything that's R&B forever. Uh, <laughs> Anthony Hamilton, if you take a little walk with me. Ooh, Remember the yes. truth? Yes. Yeah. Girl, I'll give you to lead you to the truth. That was a song that me and Kiwan got together on. Oh, yay! Yeah. Yeah. All right, Dan. I've always Trina. been a late 80s, yes, we know. early 90s it's rock kind of girl. It was such a universal time. Yes, Everybody wore their hair the same, black, white, Chinese. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from polka dots, you know, with a big old bang. Yes. 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 Hair. I yes. loved it, loved it, loved it. But one of the songs that kind of changed my life was Molly Music. Johnny and Donna. Oh, wow. it was Johnny such a Donna. storytelling song. I <laughs> didn't get it the way I got it. No, when I, I got, got it. it. No, Johnny and I Donna was, was like, a bomb. And I was saying that I would sing that song over and over and over and over and over and over again yeah. in the shower. Like, I'm singing the song, but it, it was just such a wonderful story to tell, and it's something that everyone can identify with. Yes. Like, everyone in a relationship yes. about yes. the staying power of, you know, loving your kids and loving yes. your family. It was, it was just a great song. I love it. Yes. And I have to major. Okay, this is why I love you. I can't wait to hear that one I'm going down the aisle. By the way, I'm just plugging him out. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. This is why I love yeah, you. This is why I that's love you. Good. I just love storytelling. So Absolutely. Yes. Good, yeah, good. Yeah. Well, we'd love to hear what music inspires you, so send us your thoughts at Seaster Circle TV on all social media platforms. Yeah. We'll be right back.